but I didn't know that. I didn't believe it. And guess what? Because I did not believe it, thus it unlocks the Kundalini energy. And this is how you rise in frequency. This is how you move into a Christ. You heard me before when it's cloudy. I'm like, man, I start talking. Cloudy day. Sun come out. Sun start peeking out. It had been raining. I didn't stop the rain. Why? Because I am the rain. I'm talking about the elements that they are using to, to fuck with the rain. I am that. I am the wind. I am the fire. And I am the, the very soil that I walk on. You can't say I'm not that. I am that I am. And all of those elements is in me. They're you as well. Know who you are. You're not black. <laughs> You're not black at all. It's the farthest thing from you. See, you become a magician when you understand this realm in that it's, everything is based off electricity and magnetism. This is why they don't teach us real science in school. I didn't pay attention to science in school. I didn't learn this shit in they school. And I ain't gonna get a bitch ass no credit for it, nigga. I didn't learn this shit in school, nigga. I retaught myself. I meditated. I went within, nigga. I go within, family. And then I go on the outer and research after sitting with self first. First, I sit with self. And self, higher self, tells me. The ancestors, higher self, tells self what needs to be done. And then I come back here in this avatar and I go research what it is that my higher self told me. And the ancestors told me. Cool. And then it'd be right there. So once I seen that, I said, what the fuck? I never go to a book again, nigga. I go here. And then when I go do this on Wikipedia, this is me bringing to you. This download comes from here. though. It doesn't come from Wikipedia. I'm just using this shit to prove my point. So it can make sense to you in the material realm down here. Because I know we have been taught visually. Most of us learn the best when seeing shit, you know. But you don't need no book. This is what I'm preaching to y'all. This is what I've been preaching to y'all. I'm the poster boy for... I dropped out of high school, family. And I can go sit down. You can sit me down with anybody. I know how to speak without using profanity. I be just being me. But I know I can sit here and give a whole lecture and not ever use profanity. M majority of my music, if you go listen to my music, I give whole four, four minute verses, no curse, no profanity being used. I don't even really use profanity in my music like that. So trust me, when I'm sitting here using profanity, I'm just kicking, talking shit, fucking with the you, fucking with the hood in here. That, that they know that profanity language. That's what's going to get their attention. I got to get their attention. I got to get y'all attention. I got to get those who went to college and feel like they better than you attention. So I, I, I'm hitting all three points. Because I, I understand that I am that I am. This is what I'm teaching y'all right now. You believe magic isn't real. So therefore it isn't. To you. But your belief in it, in it not being real, it's the very reason how they getting your motherfucking ass to tarnish your fucking soul every fucking year by celebrating Black History Month. They gave you 28 days in Black History Month. 28. In numerology, you can go up or down. So what's eight minus two? Six. We know that Satan likes to play with the six for a few reasons. For one, because the six represents us. Six, six, six. It's electrons, it's neutrons, six protons. Secondly, because the six is, re is an inverted nine, and nine represents us. Nine ether beings represent completion. Zeus, a.k.a. Satan, known, also known as Satan, said in his Bible that he would make his throne like the most high. So he inverted the nine and he gives a lot of praise to the six. Satan also resides in the sixth universe. 
on planet Nern where he created these six ether beings that, that we now call human beings and white people and Caucasians and all. And I mean, well, Caucasians, Dravidians, Mexicans, Arabs, and Asians today, right? So notice how it's 28 days that you celebrate this day, this, this shit called Black History Month. Now, peep that numerology, right? Now, let's read about it. Black History Month is an annual observance originated in the United States where it is also known as African American History Month. Okay? It has received official recognition from governments in the United States and Canada and more recently has been observed in Ireland, the Netherlands, and the United Kingdom. All right, cool. Now, let's get deeper. Boom. 1926. Let's read more about Black History Month. Because, see, we got to know what, what Black History Month started from. All right, for you to see that this shit is ritualistic, satanic witchcraft being used against you to even celebrate a fucking Black History Month, nigga. All right, let's pay attention. Let's pay attention, though. We're going to get into it. Okay, so let's read about it. Before it was Black History Month, this is a picture of Carter G. Woodson, 18, born in 1870. Well, he entered this plane in 1875, exited this plane in 1950. Their year. We know year, years aren't real. All right. Negro History Week, 1926 was what it was first called. The precursor to Black History Month was created in 1926 in the United States when historian Carter G. Woodson and the Association for the Study of Negro Life and History. Pay attention to the words being used. Negro. Okay. Negro Life and History announced the second week of February to be Negro History Week. Okay. So for those of you who don't know, originally Black History Month was first called Negro History Week. Okay? Because see, I like when a motherfucker think I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm going to show you this shit. I'm going to show you this shit. You hear me? I'm going to show you this shit, nigga. I'm going to show you this shit, nigga. Put your snorkel emojis on. Because once again, prepare to be taken under to the abyss. More fuckery will be unhoaxed today. We're in the Aquarius age. This is the age of information, not the age of belief. We done with believing shit, fam. That was in the Pisces age. Miss us with the bullshit. We see clearly now, nigga. You hear me? All right, so... The precursor to Black History Month was created in 1926 in the United States when historian Carter G. Woodson and the Association for the Study of Negro Life and History announced the second week of February to be Negro History Week. So in the beginning class, before it was called Black History Month, it was called Negro History Week. And it was only celebrated on the sec during the second week of February. So in the beginning, this Black History Month was Negro History Week. It didn't even have a whole month. And it was only celebrated the second week of February. Stay focused. Okay? Stay focused, man. This week was chosen because it coincided with the birthday of Abraham Lincoln. dropout, nappy-headed nigger, don't know shit. Let me go ahead and show you how much I know, nigga. Oh, so, 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 you know, before we even keep going, you see what I'm saying? I got to get up and just give myself this love because ain't nobody else going to give it to me. All I'm getting is hatred on social media, nigga. But I'm the one waking y'all up to this shit, nigga. Niggas out there celebrating Black History Month year after year, nigga. Not even knowing, nigga, you cursing your motherfucking soul, nigga. 
Oh, we ain't even got started yet, nigga. You know what I'm saying? We ain't even got started yet, family. Nah. Nah, you know what I'm saying? Because when I say fuck Black History Month, he races. Why he being so aggressive? Maybe because I know some shit that everybody else don't know. So maybe everybody should just sit the fuck down and hear me out. And you'll find out why I'm so motherfucking riled up inside, nigga. Every fucking thing we was taught was a lie. Stick around. You gonna know what I know. I'm gonna bring you down. If you wanna come down this rabbit hole with me, I'm gonna bring y'all down this motherfucker. I'm gonna bring you down. But be careful what you wish for, nigga. Be careful what you wish for. Because when this shit getting unveiled, nigga, this shit ain't light. We talking about your life, your mama life, your grandmama life. Yo, we got generations tied up into this shit, nigga. You see what I'm saying? Into this fuckery, nigga. We'll never see LeBron James tweet about that, though. You'll never see a celebrity tweet about this, though. You might not never see this page get a million followers. And you might never see this live go over the over a thousand motherfuckers, nigga. Because I'm too real, y'all. I'm too real. And I care about y'all. I want y'all to know this shit. I want y'all to know the same shit I know, nigga. I ain't on no secret society shit. I could have been, though. I should have been. The way I get treated, I, I should start my own secret society, nigga. And can't just teach the, the elected motherfuckers I choose this shit. Because the way I get treated when I step in front of the public, just giving y'all this. I get hit with arrows, just giving y'all this. You hear me? You know what I'm saying? That's why I say, don't even ask me no questions. If it's negativity, I'm blocking you, G. Don't ask me nothing, don't bring me nothing nobody said, G. I, I'm too high frequency, G. I'm breaking down Black History Month, fam. I ain't got time for nothing else, fam. If you even bring it my way, you're an Autobot, fam. You're trying to distract me from the, from the mission, fam. This is heavy shit being unveiled here, family. I don't want to hear about nothing else but this motherfucking revolt we in the middle of with these white people, G. If ain't nobody talking like that, nigga, I don't even want to listen to him, G. So don't bring it to me, G. Period, family. No distractions, fam. You hear me? I got shit to do. I got shit to unveil to my people. See what I'm saying? I got some shit to get off my chest with these white people, G. Fuck all the bullshit. They not racist. Why they can't tell us this shit then? Why it take me to tell y'all this shit? Why ain't no white people telling y'all this shit? All the white motherfuckers went to Harvard, nigga. Yale, nigga. Princeton, nigga. Duke, nigga. You know what I'm saying, nigga? The University of Illinois, nigga. Why, why I gotta be the nigga? You know what I'm saying? I ain't got shit but 18,000 followers. Nigga, why I gotta be nigga? You know what I'm saying? Why I gotta be? You know what I'm saying? I, you, know, you know, I'm just asking questions for a friend. Sway. Because before we keep going, or do y'all want to keep going? Because this shit finna get freaky. This shit finna get freaky, nigga. You hear me, nigga? Y'all might want to go storm right now, nigga, while I get this. This shit finna get freaky, nigga. Nigga, I might lose Instagram after this, nigga. Ain't no telling what's gonna happen. You hear me? They already cut the other one to an hour, nigga. I'm getting ready to go to YouTube Live with this shit, nigga. Like, y'all got me fucked up, nigga. You hear me? Y'all got me fucked up, nigga. And then y'all wonder why I don't do my PowerPoints no more. Wonder why you don't do power? It ain't that I, I ain't never ran out of information, nigga. I'm, I got to sector out this shit because the little shit I have told, listen, bro. I've only released my, out of 100% of inf information I got, I've probably released 3% to the public, nigga. And I'm already getting shot at, nigga. You hear me? With lies. Infiltration by the Federal Bureau of Investigation. You hear me? Fuck them though. Fuck them though. You feel me? Niggas, look, niggas can't handle that. Niggas don't want to handle that. Niggas don't want to sell. Niggas don't want niggas finna take this, this whole month, nigga. You in the middle of this fake ass corona. They done took jobs, nigga. I told y'all this shit when Christmas came. Niggas still went out. Celebrated Christmas. Told y'all that was Saturday New Year Day. Stop celebrating this shit. You know what I'm saying? We've been lied to, nigga. Now I'm telling y'all, Black History Month, the same shit, family. This shit is witchcraft, nigga. Fuck Black History Month, nigga. Every day is your day. It ain't nothing black about you, fam. You a motherfucking god. Fuck you mean, Black History Month, nigga. Ain't nothing black about me, nigga. Nigga, y'all better call this shit God History Month, nigga, or some shit like that, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Y'all better speak with respect when you speak on me and my motherfucking people, nigga. Ain't nothing black about us, America. Ain't nothing black about us or Latino about us, none of that shit, nigga. And we ain't divided, we won, nigga. 
So when you speak on me and my people, nigga, put some respect on our shit, nigga. Ain't nothing black about us over here, fam. We are gods, nigga. We made you motherfuckers, nigga. We ain't no Negroes, nigga. We ain't no Negro. Now we say nigga. We say nigga because we took it to deep power the word from you bitch motherfuckers. You hear me? And that shit was dead decades ago. So now we say nigga. But hold on. Notice we can say that. Y'all can't say that, fam. You see what I'm saying? It's some shit amongst us that we understand amongst us, nigga. You hear me? We know what the fuck we mean. But you bitch ass niggas can't say it. You see how I just use it like that? But they can't use it like that. It don't have to be explained, nigga. You know why you can't say it like that, fam. You see what I'm saying? It's blood behind this shit. We ain't got to go get to no 30-minute side story about why the word shouldn't be being used today. If you don't understand, if your ass white, and you don't understand, well, you're using nigga, just try to use it and see how it plays out for you. All right? That's, that's the best disclaimer I can give you. All right? Definitely use it around me and see how it play out for you. I'm going to hang your ass. I'm going to, for real, I'm going to Emmett Till your ass for real, boy. And I'm going to take a picture next to your ass. Just like they used to do us. Just like your ancestors did my ancestors. See, when you fucking with me, you fucking with the ancestors because we know what's going on. See what I'm saying? Facts, nigga. Period. So like I said, Black History Month was originally called Negro History Week. All right? So not only did they lie to you, but they only gave your ass a week at first, nigga. Did you know that? Did you know that you only had a week at first? And it was Negro History Week. Thanks to that sellout right there, Carter G. Woodson. Yes, he was. Sucked a lot of master dick. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. Look at him. Look how his hair is laid down back in that day. See what I'm saying? When you seen black people with their hair like that, they was house niggas. You get what I'm saying? When Malcolm X wore his hair like that, he was a house nigga. He told you that himself. When he went to jail and enlightened himself, he took the perm out of his shit, nigga. When I had a house nigga mentality, I had waves too, nigga. I had to enlighten myself and snap out. Don't you see my natural hair and never get cut again, family? I gotta be natural, fam. I am that I am. All right? Carter G. Woodson. Sell out. House nigga. That helped these people come up with Negro History Week. Okay? Facts. There he goes right there. They will never call him that when you Wikipedia his ass, though. They're going to make him like a hero. Of course he's going to like a hero because he helped promote this motherfucking Satan ritualistic witchcraft agenda to his own motherfucking people. Like Plies is doing today. You see how you got Plies doing it in 2021? You had niggas doing it back in 1950, I mean 1889 as well, nigga. Nothing new under the motherfucking sun, nigga. Carter G. Woodson was selling us out back then. And in today's era, you got Plies and Tyler Perry and more of your own black people selling y'all ass out because they got paid to tell y'all to go take a fucking vaccine, nigga. I'm going to call it what it is no more. We ain't got nothing to do with our people, fam. Now, when you was entertaining us, it was okay. Then you wonder why he got that whole big ass studio down here in Atlanta. That, they give you that when you sold, when you selling your soul, nigga. I sell my soul right now. I'll have a whole talk show, nigga. It'll be on from nine to twelve. You hear me? All the big celebrities will be on there, nigga. All of a sudden, I have straight teeth. That's why I'm not fixing my teeth. More like, man, I'm not fixing my teeth, nigga. See what I'm saying? Them, them clear sign, nigga. Y'all see these teeth get fixed, nigga. I was cloned and replaced, nigga. I'm saying it right here on live, nigga. You hear me? Nigga, I'm being me, nigga. My teeth got gaps, nigga. They fucked up, nigga. That's how God wanted them to be. I'm not changing shit, nigga. I'ma smile. I'ma love life, nigga. I'ma love all of me. You hear me? I'm not spending no money to fix some shit that came naturally, nigga. I didn't get hit with no bricks, nigga. My shit fell out my mouth as a kid, and they grew back in this way. So if God wanted my shit to be together and perfect, like the people with the, with the what if the universe wanted that, like the people with the perfect teeth, shout out to y'all with the perfect teeth out there. Do y'all thing. I'm not a hater. Do your thing. See? Because I don't want you hating on me when I'm whipping and driving good and I'm doing my thing. You see what I'm saying? So the people with the perfect smiles and the perfect teeth, do your thing. You feel me? Smile even harder for the niggas like me. You see what I'm saying? But nigga, I'm not changing shit about me, nigga. See what I'm saying? I ain't selling out on no level, nigga. This how I am naturally. This what I'm telling motherfuckers about a shirt. Put a shirt on. Nigga, this is me naturally, nigga. 
If I wasn't on live, I'd be sitting right here with no shirt on. So why would I go get dressed just to get on live? What? For motherfuckers who could or could not even give a fuck about me. Like, nigga, I'm going to get on here and kick this shit, nigga. And if you here to learn, you're going to learn. But Carter G. Woodson, a motherfucking house nigga. House nigga. Plies. House nigga. Tyler Perry, house negro. Fuck nigga. Those are negroes. You hear me? Plies is a negro. You hear me? He ain't no nigga. The niggas, we rebellious still. We See, the niggas, we was the rebellious slaves. It's a difference when you enunciate that shit, boy. Put some respect on that nigga, too. You see what I'm saying? I'm a god, and I'll take nigga in my lower self as well. Because I walk, so you got to walk duality. I embrace my lower self. I don't push him behind me. I don't push him in front of me. I walk side by side with him and acknowledge him. You see what I'm saying? You got to be like that. That's godhood. You hear me? But those people, when you see black and Latino people, Cardi B, you see black and Latinos doing anything for money, selling their own people out, those aren't niggas. Those are Negroes, okay? Those are your modern, modern day, what you call Negroes. Good-hearted Negroes, you hear me? Because you can't tell a Negro he ain't no patriot. To a Negro, he's an American, you hear me? To a Negro, his vote matter. To a Negro, his education matters. To a Negro, his oppressor is everything. These Negroes will go hand, they go hard for them white niggas. You hear me? They go so hard for white America, nigga. A Negro will. You seen Jesse Jackson? He's another Negro. Told you keep hope alive, but hope is a motherfucking hoax, nigga. Ain't no such thing as hope, nigga. Either it is or it isn't. You hear me? Real life shit. What you mean hope, nigga? I'm not hoping for shit, nigga. Either I'm going to do it or I'm not, nigga. To hope is to sit there and be stagnant because you hoping some shit happens. I hope the lights go off, so I'm going to just sit here and hope. Let me just, let me pull my hands out and pray to, pray to Jesus. Maybe Jesus cut these lights off. Well, he ain't cut them off yet, but I hope he will one day. Fuck out of here, nigga. I'm going to get my ass up and I'm going to cut the lights off. I'm not hoping for shit, nigga. You hear me? I ain't got to hope. I, I, I make this shit happen, nigga. I ain't never seen a Jesus come out the sky, nigga, a do shit for me a day in my life, nigga. Jesus ain't never did shit for me, nigga. You hear me? He ain't, he ain't squared up with a nigga. You know how many fist fights I had? And niggas tried fighting. They kicked the shit off with me. Nigga, you know how many times I got jumped growing up in Chicago, nigga? Coming from my girlfriend's house. She stay over there where we in tune with these niggas. We was in tune with the Latin Kings. Nigga, I'm all in Humble Park and her shit on Beach and Spalding, nigga. I ain't even supposed to be over there, nigga, but I'm over there anyway. You hear me, nigga? Because I'm going to see my girl, nigga. They going to have to kill me, nigga. You hear me? You know how it be, nigga. Now because I got jumped, nigga. Nigga, I ain't never see Jesus hop out of cloud, nigga. Like, no, not today. Leave my son alone. I ain't never seen no shit like that in my life, nigga. Nigga had to get the movement out there on his own. Like, hold on, fam. Oh, fam. You know what I'm saying? Or nigga, take flight. It's too many niggas I'm taking flight, nigga. I ain't no tough ass nigga. It's 20 of y'all. I'm not finna stand here, fam. Nigga, I'm gonna put these tens to work, nigga. Nigga, I'm, uh, getting gay, I'm gone. I'm gone. Nigga, damn with y'all. Y'all ain't gonna catch me, boy. You know, as little niggas, we be faster. One thing about short motherfuckers, I'm only 5'8", but I'm one of the fastest niggas in the hood ever to touch the hood. You hear me? I'm trying to tell you, I didn't let nigga, I didn't took off and left. I didn't been on Madison and Pulaski, nigga, and the police tried to get me. I didn't, whoo, hopped over the hood on the ass. I'm gone, nigga. You hear me? Nigga, they asked my homies like, who the fuck was he? He runs like a fucking gazelle. You know how the police do you like, when your homie get away, they be mad at you, so they be beating your ass. Ask my homies, boy, they didn't get their ass whooped a lot of times fucking with me because the police couldn't catch my ass, nigga. Ain't no catching me. Nigga, I was in the computer as a runner, nigga. You hear me? Nigga, them boys jumped out with their gym shoes on when they pulled up on me. That's white. You better have your shoes on fucking with white. Nigga, you better. I'm going to make your ass earn this check today. Fucking with me. When I was on the block, nigga, you going to earn this check. Police pull up, nigga. We going to run today, fam. I don't give a fuck. I'm not making it comfortable for you. 
I'm not making this shit easy for you. I've been a rebellious ass slave, nigga. Fuck out of here, nigga. Yo ass pull up, nigga think you finna walk up. But I done got they ass good too, y'all. You hear me, nigga? I'm talking about they didn't. It's 10 of us, like everybody get on the car. I'm old oh, shit, I know I'm dirty too. I'm gonna walk out my hands on the car. It's one on that side, one on this side. I let they ass search everybody. They get comfortable. Ain't nobody ran. I'm the nigga dirty though. And then all my homies, they give me the work because they know I'm going to get low on their ass. So I probably got everybody work. I probably got, nigga, 80 bags of crack in my ass, nigga, three ounces of weed on my son. As soon as they get to me, they finna, as soon as he finna hit the pocket, I'm, I'm gone. He shit, he's gone. We got him on the run. They, slow the fuck down. Stop, freeze. What? Freeze. Freeze. Nigga, please, nigga, you gonna have to shoot that motherfucker, nigga. You hear me? On the G. You hear me, nigga? Like real life shit, nigga. They ass me mad. I see my homies later on that day. Come on, G. You can't keep running like that, G. They whooping us. Cause they be mad. Nigga, come back, nigga. One time I made one of their ass come out of shoe. You hear me? Cause it was mud right there. They belt out. They gonna run up out of house. Juke this ass. He did this stop. His ass slit. <laughs> I jumped right over his goofy ass, kept running. I'm gone, hit the gate, hit the alley, I'm going on their ass. Once I get the straight way, I'm like Maurice Green. All I need is a straight way. I don't even need a lot of straight, boy, I'm like a Tesla, you hear me? All I need is a little straight way, boy. I'm talking about my 40 yard dash, nasty, nigga, you hear me? I probably want a three, two flat, nigga, you hear me? I get any, hey, I get, y'all see I'm cut? I'm in hell, bro, my whole life. I get any, any flat ground, I don't give a fuck what I got on, Tim's. Nigga, I didn't get left the ass with a pelly on with Tim's on and they wasn't even tired, nigga. Hit the gate, ooh, I'm gone. They mad as they, we got him on the run. Yeah, nigga, I'm gone. You gonna earn this check fucking with me? You hear me, nigga? You gonna earn this bitch fucking with me. You know what I'm saying? I, I always been like that. You feel me? Cause it's fuck the system. You know I never understood that. Nigga, police come up, niggas wanna make it easy for them. All right, man, you, you caught me, man. Now niggas getting in the car. Hey, call my mama, Joe. Let her know. <laughs> nigga, fuck that, nigga. Nigga, because I know y'all ass ain't athletic like that. I'm going to make you earn this check, nigga. Ain't got that fat ass vest on. Boy, I'm going to make your ass use them feet today, nigga. You finna use them feet fucking with me, nigga. Nigga, you finna work out. You hear me? <laughs> this shit finna be a workout. Nigga, so by the time you, if you do catch me, you might not still even catch me. You gonna be some motherfucking tired, nigga. We gonna and we gonna run, nigga. I'm not running for no for no few blocks. I'm a runner, nigga. <laughs> nigga, we finna run a couple miles, nigga. I can run, nigga. I ain't no. You feel know what I'm saying? I ain't no nigga. We finna we on a foot chase. You finna chase me two blocks and it's over with, nigga. We finna run, nigga. You better get a couple squad cars out here. You better get some niggas on some mopeds or something. You gonna need all that, cause we finna run, nigga. At least four or five miles. I'm hitting gates. I'm hitting cuts. I know how to my second win come back quick. We finna run. You hear me? But yeah, don't fuck the system. But because you got these sellout motherfuckers like Carter G. Woodson. You feel me, family? Look at them. Look, now they tell you, they say, this week was chosen because it coincided with the birthday of Abraham Lincoln. We back focused, y'all. We back focused. You know, we're going to have our little side. You know what I'm saying? We can do that. You know what I'm saying? But y'all heard what I just read, right? Yeah, fuck 12. I know they I know they glad I don't be on the block no more. Hey, woo! That nigga, that nigga work niggas out. I help niggas lose weight around that bitch. But yeah, though, this week was chosen because it coincided with the birthday of Abraham Lincoln on February 12th and of Frederick Douglass on February 20th. Both of which dates black communities had celebrated together since the late 19th century. So I don't, let me, because I know we just all laugh and we a little roused up in class. Let's settle back down, class. Let's settle back down. Let's settle back down, class. All right, let's settle back down. All right. But look, though. Now, they telling you right here why they chose this, why, like, this what I, like, this what I want y'all to focus on. So this is what I kind of paused on. That not was called Negro History Week, right? But 
a lot of people did not know that the only reason that they chose the week is because it coincided with the birthday of Abraham Lincoln. What color was, who was Abraham Lincoln? That's a human being. All right. So it's still dating back. Your Black History Month, right, started as Negro History Week. And it was brought, brought put together by Carter G. Wilson, which was a house, a house Negro. And this house Negro sat down with the Association of Negro Life and History. And they agreed to come up with this second week of February to be the week that they celebrated this Negro History Week. And the reason being is because it coincided with a white person's birthday. Why somebody white got anything to do with Black History Month? And your reasoning for anything that you're doing when you're making this and you say it's for your people. You say Black History Month for black people now. I'm going to let we get in deep now. Hold on now. You say Black History Month for black people now. But your reason for even picking a date was based around a white person who they lied and said free black people by signing the Emancipation Proclamation. In the Emancipation Proclamation, Abraham Lincoln did sign, but to emancipate does not mean to free from your control. We are still literally property of this country by law. By their law, if you want to follow their law, by their law, you are property of this country. What you think your birth certificate is, nigga? Okay? Okay? So Abraham Lincoln never freed the slaves. He signed the Emancipation Proclamation. To emancipate means to free from your hand. Go look it up. To free from your hand, man. Your hand. Not your control. The fuckery, these slick motherfuckers. See, it's all in the wording with these bitches. It's, that's why they be spelling shit. That's why they called it spelling. It wasn't called spelling when we gave it to their ass. It was called the alpha beta system, nigga. They took it and contorted it and, and now it's spelling because it's witchcraft. You hear me? Y'all don't hear me, family. Y'all don't hear me right now, family. You know what I'm saying? Y'all don't see how deep this, this shit go. So the whole reasoning behind Black History Month starts based around the birthday of Abraham Lincoln. But this is supposed to be a month. And this is the foundation of the movement. Now, this is the foundation, nigga. We talking about before it was Black History Month. It was Negro History Week. All right. We talking about the root. See how I told you, I'm gonna, when you come here, I'm going to give your ass root knowledge, nigga. I'm going to take you to the root, nigga, of some shit. You hear me? And Abraham Lincoln even said himself, he gave a State of the Union address. Well, Abraham Lincoln said himself that if he could, if he could preserve the state of the Union without freeing the slaves, he would. Nigga, go back and read Abraham Lincoln's State of the Union address. Um, speech at the get the Gettysburg Address. Go read it, nigga. You hear me? The North was finna go to war with the South. The South had all the slaves down here. This they tell you in American history, right? In their American history, right? And Abraham Lincoln, him even signing the Emancipation Proclamation had nothing to do with freeing no motherfucking slaves, nigga. He said it himself. Go look at the Gettysburg Address. Abraham Lincoln, Gettysburg Address. He said verbatim, if I could save the state of the Union without freeing the slaves, then I would. The only reason the North went to war with the South is because the South did not want to let them in on the slave trade money. The South had all them slaves down South working for free. 40 billion motherfuckers working for free. So they ain't, and they ain't paying no taxes. And they selling cotton. They still selling shit back and forth to each other overseas. So they made a lot of money in the South. The North, meanwhile, had all the factories, but they didn't have a lot of black people up north to work in. 
Majority of your black people up north, they had already killed off in them original wars when they start building up that they where they took the land to even build up the factories. So the north was trying they hit the south up like, hey, man, look, y'all got a lot of workers down there. They break it down to the street turn. The north hit the south. Like, look, bro, y'all getting money down there. Y'all getting a lot of money down south. You know what I'm saying? Y'all got a lot of niggas working them jabs for free. You hear me? A lot of niggas out there hustling for y'all for free down south. Y'all got 40 billion black people hustling, selling drugs for y'all for free down south. I'm telling you how it would go if it was a street conversation. The North called the South like that, nigga. And the North like, man, so y'all gonna let us handle this money? Nigga, the South like, nigga, yeah, we getting money down south, but we, 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 I mean, we don't need to let y'all in on nothing, nigga. This our, this our shit, this our shit down here. We ain't gotta let y'all in on shit. The North like, nigga, listen. We need y'all to let some of them slaves go because we need to, we try to get money up here. We got all these factories. We got all this shit going. We need more black people up here. We need their magnetism. The South like, nigga, we not giving up shit. We don't, we don't got to fuck with y'all. The North like, but man, we came here together. We came to the planet together though. You know what I'm saying? We can't let, we can't forget the, the goal. We came to the planet together. Nigga, the South like, nigga, well, I don't give a fuck what we came together on. Nigga, I ain't, we ain't getting, we ain't honoring shit, nigga. We ain't got to let, we ain't sending nobody up there, nigga. So the North like, man, you know if you don't send us no workers, we going to lose all our factories and we could like potentially die, right? The South was on some gangster shit. I'm just being real. The Confederates, nigga, they like, well, yeah, we know y'all could potentially die, but we don't give a fuck, nigga. So then the North say, well, if y'all don't give us the slaves, nigga, we going to come. We are, we, are, we are in slavery. See it? We make slavery illegal. The South. Nigga, y'all ain't going to slow our money down, nigga. How y'all gonna try to make the money? How y'all try to make the way we get money illegal now, nigga? That's my whole ass shit. The North like shit, nigga. We'll do it. We'll pull it. The South. Well, nigga, if y'all do make slavery illegal, nigga, we not honoring shit. The North, well, shit, we'll come down South. Don't, don't make us come down South, nigga. We'll come down South, nigga. We'll come to Atlanta, nigga, and nigga, and we'll end this shit ourselves if we got to. Nigga, the South like, look, we not honoring shit, boy. On the patties, we not honoring shit. If y'all want some smoke, bring y'all bitch ass down south and hung up on their ass, nigga. And that's how the Civil War was started. I just gave it to you in the hood version. It had nothing to do with no fucking slavery. It was all about money. It was all about the fact that down the, that that the Confederates was making a lot of money in the South off these slaves, and the North ain't have as many slaves up north as they had down south. They wanted the South to send them. Workers up north to work in their factories for free. The South said, we not giving up no workers, nigga. We not giving up no workers. The North said, well, we'll get on some gangster shit. The South said, well, shit, nigga, do what y'all got to do. And they went to war. That's why they, they, they always say that's the worst war in the country. So when we talk about Abraham Lincoln, he did not motherfucking end slavery. He did not do shit for us. So why is he being used as a basis for anything evolved around black people if you want to call them that i'm just asking questions for a friend right right i just want to try to see that y'all self okay so now we got a basis for black history month we know what this shit was started around but let's keep going deeper shall we boom so hold on Okay, so, so look, so look, now if y'all wonder what's going on, so check it out. So, okay, they say that Black History Month, Negro History Week, it was started when it turned, hold on, let me pull it up. Let me pull it up out the thimble, y'all. All right. I don't got the picture on here. I thought I did. I guess I ain't screenshot it. Okay, so look. I ain't screenshot it, but look. So... You will see, I thought I screen, I thought I screenshotted it, but look, it was a screenshot that I, that I meant to put on here. And it shows you basically that 
Black History, Black History Month eventually after it was Negro History Week. And then in 1970s, it, it became officially known as Black History Month. OK, so in the 20s, when it was first started, it was known as Negro History Week. It was another screenshot I had where if you scroll down, it show you how it became Black History Month. And it became Black History Month in the 1970s by some students at Kent State University. Now, y'all can go research that part on y'all own about Black History Month offic officially being deemed Black History Month in the 1970s. But when it first started, it was Negro History Week in 1926. And then in the 70s, some students at Kent State University changed it to Black History Month. So now you need to ask yourself this. Pay attention to this university. Why was it at Kent State that Black History Month? So Black History Month officially became recognized as Black History Month at Kent State University in the 70s. You can Google this. All right, we see. Hold on, before I keep going. At first, it was Negro History Week in wait in 1926, started by Carter G. Woodson and some more black people, and it was based around Abraham Lincoln's birthday and Frederick Douglass' birthday. Um, but that was in 1926. Then by the 70s, it became known as Black History Month officially. Okay, so now in the 70s, it was it became known as Black History Month at Kent State University. Okay, so let's look at Kent State a little bit. This University of Kent State, it has seven regional campuses in Northeast Ohio, additional facilities in the region and internationally. Regional campuses are located in Ashtabula, Burton, East Liverpool, Jackson Township, New Philadelphia, Salem, and Warren, Ohio, with additional facilities in Cleveland, Independence, and Twinsburg, Ohio, New York City, and Florence, Italy. All right? So now check this out. Pay attention to the logo that Kent State University has. All right? Do you see their logo? You see the logo. All right? Do y'all see the logo that Kent State University has? Pay attention. This is where Black History Month officially got its full name is Black History Month. Now, look at the logo. Look at the sun. It's a sun, and then at the top, it's a it's a staff. It's a it like it like it's a bird, but it's not a bird. That's actually it's not a bird. That's actually the uh the Kundalini energy symbol that they use in the medical field. But it doesn't. It's not. You can't see the snakes wrapped around the, the pole. But it's the same logo, right? And this is what Black History Month officially became known as Black History Month. Now check this out. Kent State, Kent State University was first established in 19, so we need to find out about this university where Black History Month received its official name at, okay? So that Kent State University, okay? So Kent State University was established in 1910 as an institution for training public school teachers. It was part of the Lowry Bill, which also created a sister school in Bowling Green, Ohio, now known as Bowling Green State University. It was initially known under the working name of the Ohio State Normals at Kent. All right. So, but now we need to find out now who, who, who. Okay. So black history month was started at Kent was founded at Kent state far as it got its official name. Right. So now we, we need to find out about Kent state university. That's what we doing. But now we need to find out why is it called Kent state? So if you read down here and say it was named Kent state normal school in 1911 in honor of William S. Kent of Kent, Ohio namesake marvin kent okay so we know kent state university was named after marvin kent so now we need to find out who was marvin kent all this shit matters this is this is how you do fucking research because if you celebrate black history month and it became known as black history month at kent state university you should want to know why you should be trying to find out all about kent state and the best way to do that is to even find out why is it called kent state who is it named after so when you go look up the research and you see that it's named after Marvin Kent, there you go right there. Hmm. There you go right there. There you go right there. Now let's read about him. Marvin Kent, September 21st, 1816 to some 1908. I can't see it because of my picture right there. It said he was a railroad president, politician, and businessman from Portage County, Ohio. All right. Best known as the namesake of the city of Kent, Ohio, which was pre previously known as Franklin Mills. 
Okay, so Marvin Kidd was a railroad owner and a politician. Okay, so we know everybody that owned the railroads owned what? Slaves. All right, that had to own the railroad, you had to have slaves. All right, so Marvin Kidd, all right, was born, he was heavily involved in business dealings. His father was Zenith's kid from a very young age in the 1860s, instrumental in. There we go. He established the Atlantic and Great Western Railroad. Marvin Kent and his dad did. His dad, Marvin Kent, dad name was Zenith Kent. So you see how this shit get passed down generation to generation? So, 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 so now these are the people who the university was named after. And these, this same university is where they came up with the whole movement for Black History Month. Which was originally called Negro History Week at first. Before it was renamed at Kent State University in the 70s to Black History Month. Are we seeing clearly here? And look, we finna have to come back to class. It's finna be another session because I'm not done. And they, they making it an hour. They making it an hour. See what I'm saying? So I'm finna end class, come right back.